In this movie we're going to take a look at how to build a model. It's really very simple. We just drag and drop the components onto the work area, enter some details and our forcing frequencies will be displayed right here. Here we go. I'm going to take a motor, drag it onto the page. Unfortunately the movie software does not record the movement of the icons but normally you'd see them. Now I'm going to enter a couple of details about this motor. Now if you don't know the details just leave it as zero. And let's make it a belt driven machine. I'll drag the belt down there and I have information about this belt. If you don't have the information you require you can just enter a speed ratio. So this will calculate the ratio from this information. And there we go, there's the belt. Now I'm going to put a fan on the end of the belt and say it's got six blades. Now with all the components there's usually a number of options for different types of fans or different types of compressors, pumps and so on, but we'll just keep it simple for now. So there I have my motor, belt and fan and I can even change the speed to see what the actual frequencies will be for each of the components. Now I can just save it away and then I can use it in iLearn Interpreter. One thing I will do now is add a bearing. I can just drag the bearing down and either enter the physical details, enter the forcing frequencies or search the database, which I'll do now. I'll say this is a bearing, I think it's SKF61 something or other. Let's do a search and we'll, let's just use that bearing there. You see it brought up the frequencies and then if we look down here there all the frequencies just there. When we use iLearn Interpreter all of these frequencies will be overlaid on the graph. And there we go. Now we, all we have to do is save it away.